at this point in the Madden season, there are some really good man-to-man coverage corners. You can get an ultimate team. And in regs, I do think this is one of the better ways to be playing. There's also a significant glitch going on right now where you can essentially dumb out cloud flats and curl flats with rollout screen plays. So I wanted to drop this little video for you. This is one of my favorite ways to be playing defense right now. You can do this out of a lot of different formations. We're going to show it today out of the dollar formation because I do believe dollar does give you the most amount of opportunities. We're going to real quick, what you want to do is you want to have the best man coverage corners that you can have. You want bottlenecks. You want universal coverage. You want the best possible man-to-man coverage cornerbacks that you can have. That is super important for this. But the other thing that's important is we're in the Chiefs playbook, auto flip off, option defense conservative, and then zone coverage on match. Now, we're going to be coming out in the play cover one robber press. The reason we're coming out in cover one robber press as opposed to cover two man, I will show real quick. So if you take a look here at the cover two man blitz, notice you see here that this defensive lineman is doing like a, essentially like he could go left or right. With the cover one robber press, it's the only, it's the only stock play here. Uh, that we have access to where it's a man coverage play and they're going to go uh, they're going to go to the right spot now when I say stock I'm saying like not spinner spinner obviously works but this is something that's a little bit better than spinner because you'll get the man alignment so you see how we get this man alignment here on the right hand side super helpful so as you can see what we're able to do with this is this is just essentially a man aligned defense and what we're going to do is if you take a look here notice that this linebacker is or this uh, this blitzing angle from the defensive tackle is advantageous to us so the setup for the for the blitz portion is to just press you're going to then uh, scissor on this left side as you can see here and then you're going to pinch your d line and then what i like to do is i like to just simply uh, you can blitz the safety i don't think it's that big of a deal to blitz the safety i think sending four is perfectly fine a lot of times this will come through the a gap as we know in this game it doesn't always come through the a gap but a lot of times it will come through the A gap, okay? But in general, what we're gonna be basically doing with this is playing a man to man based scheme. So when we play coverage out of this, we're gonna man up the lineback, the blitzing linebacker onto the running back. We're gonna crash our defensive line down, blitz our user so we get better sheds. Then we're gonna put both of our safeties here in either deep halves or outside thirds, which I'll touch on in a minute. And then we're gonna shade underneath. By shading underneath, this is gonna help prevent a lot of the you know, just quick hitting routes that are super good at getting open against man. And then those deep halves, especially with all the KOs, you want your safeties to have like deep zone KO, mid zone KOs if possible. That's going to make this super, super effective. Now, the other thing I did want to touch on is if you go to the free safety sub or the sh or the um, the safeties package in dollar, you can put these safeties in outside third. So again, we're going to press pinch ready line crash down. If he goes down, you just need to click on him. And then you can man him up on the running back. You don't have to man him on the running back, but I do think it's the best way to run this. We're going to man him up on the running back, and then we're going to put both of these safeties here in outside thirds. Now, the reason you would use outside thirds instead of deep halves is they will do a better job at defending crossers and corners if that is what your opponent is running. If your opponent is running a lot of post routes, you would probably want to have deep halves instead of thirds. And then again, we're just going to shade underneath, pass commit, and you're just going to use her here in the middle, and we're going to play coverage. This is our coverage defense 90% of the time. Once they start to send their running back out because their running back's what they need to use to beat man coverage, then we will go to this defense right here where we're going to um, send the corner on the solo side. You could do something like this. I know it looks kind of wonky, but if you think about it, you're, this is what's going to make this A-gap blitz come completely free. As you see, a lot of people aren't doing this blitz of the corner but with the way this aligns up against Bunch, this is a really good defense because you're cross manning that solo wide receiver. So he's taken away. And then you're blitzing this guy. And then your responsibility is the running back. You have everything accounted for to the right side and a three rack. So if the running back goes on a route, you're just going right to the running back. Wherever he goes, and you see we're, we're triggering that A-gap blitz that a lot of people like to run. So if they do send five out, that's our best method to, to get really easy, really quick pressure. Now, another thing that we can do uh, is let's talk about this defense as it pertains to other formations, which is why we're using dollar. So the main reason we're choosing to use dollar for this is because if they come out in any type of spread out formation, I don't care if it's flank or close, spread, doubles, this is going to apply to that. The cover one robber is going to align really well. And you're, as you see here, we get perfect alignment. 
Well, now what we're able to do with this is we can play, we have press coverage on everybody on the field. So if we wanted to play coverage, we're just going to do exactly what I talked about, where we cross man the running back, we're going to shade underneath, we're going to put our safeties and halves, or thirds, depending on what you want to do. Right? I would say if you're playing like a double set like, like this, I don't think thirds are that important, especially uh, I think halves are a little better. So we might do that. Or one underrated thing you can do is you could put one of those man coverage players in an outside third, which is – and then now this allows you to have a middle third defender. If we were to go back to bunch, this would be a great coverage shell. Now all we have to worry about is if that backside receiver runs a drag. So you see here we're able to kind of work in here. We take this drag across, and you see we pretty much have everything bagged with this very basic defense. Now if you wanted to blitz out of this, well, instead of blitzing the outside corner, now you have a slot corner to blitz. So we can just blitz this slot corner. We're not going to shade underneath now. All we're going to do is just take the safety and put him in man coverage on the outside. We might put a third there, right? And then we might put, you know, a half or a third over here. Uh, another thing we could do that I really like is scissoring on the running back side. So we're going to take away the quick throw to the running back this way. And then you're going to basically be able to play really good coverage. I think this defense, a lot of people have been sleeping on it. It's probably one of the best ways to play defense in the game all year. And I've been talking about it a lot off and on in the year. But now at this point, it's so effective. And then I did want to cover like a trip set if they are going to run, you know, trips tight in. So if they do run trips tight in, this is really well equipped to defend trips tight in. As you can see, we get pretty good alignment here. Now, if we want to blitz out of this, what I like to do is simply blitz this um if you if you think about it we can roll the coverage so what i like to do here is we're just going to blitz that slot and then we're going to cross man onto that defender and then on this right side here we are just going to basically play a cover three look and the reason this is effective is because we can kind of get into some really cool adjustments like this and now our only responsibility is if the running back goes on a route we're going to use him Again, I think this is a really fun way to play defense. A lot of people haven't really ever tried to play defense like this. But if you do some simple adjustments like I'm showing you in this video, this is a really, really good way to play defense. Um, another underrated way to, to blitz out of this would be something like this right here, where we're going to send more of a DB fire type of blitz. And then now what we're able to do is we can now maybe mix in some cross of the tight end and then utilize maybe an outside third to the right side. Uh, or we can flip-flop that and use a cross safety third and then run the defense like this. This is actually really good for trips. It's one of the better adjustments. And again, this is all just about like, okay, they're five outing. We need to send five. If they're not five outing, we need to play coverage, okay? If they're blocking, you need to be in coverage because uh, the coverage from this is so effective because all we need to do to make this coverage defense really, really effective is we're going to third that outside guy, we're going to cross man the running back, and we're going to outside third that right side guy, and we're shading underneath. This is such a good coverage defense for trips tied in. I, I'm telling you right now, this is super effective. This is going to stop 99% of what anyone wants to do at a trips, and you're free to be able to use her underneath and in the middle of the field. So this is just a little bit of a guide on kind of the three-man under defense that I think is super effective. You can literally do this from anything, but I do think it is best from the dollar three two with the cover one robber press because you have the most amount of pressure capabilities as well as coverage capabilities within your defensive package.